Shalom. Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah of Torah. This year is entitled Yosef's Relationship to Egypt as the Eretz Ani, the land of my affliction. Incredible statement. Yosef at the end of Shlishim Pashas Miket says that my son will be named Ephraim Kifrani Elakim Be Eretz Onyi because he caused me to be Puravu, to propagate and be fruitful in the land of my affliction. The land of my affliction? He's the most powerful person in the universe. The land of affliction? Let's take American Jews coming in the 1900s, landing 1900s, living four, five, six families in a tiny apartment on the Lower East Side with nothing, coming off of Ellis Island. And then within a generation or two, they're living in these uh, million-dollar houses in the five towns, Englewood, and who knows where. America is the land of, its affli of their affliction. They gave them an unbelievable opportunity for growth, and they, quote, made it, at least financially. It's not Eretz Anyi. He so started off with a challenging situation in America, and you moved up. Yosef had a challenging situation in Egypt. He was a slave, and now he's the number one, number two after Paro, in the most powerful country in the world. Eretz Ani, my land of affliction. So Barbanel says, as long as he was not in Eretz Israel, anywhere outside of Israel was the land of his affliction. Ani, this is not where I belong. I'm afflicted here. I'm not comfortable here. And he named his son that way. And Rav Hirsch says, it's a tremendous tribute to him. Maybe that's why. Rabbi Lechman mentioned this in his beautiful book on the parsha. And he writes, maybe this is why we look up to Yosef's children, we bless him, assume, we bless our children to be like Yosef's children, where they survived in the foreign culture, and we hope our kids over the Galut exile uh, survive in a foreign culture. And Rabbi Lechman says, maybe you have to put the two together. Yosef himself looked and himself as a foreigner in Egypt, even as he's the vice of Roy, vice of Roy, and therefore that's how the kids survive. And that's how we hope in Galut, all over the world, we will survive as well, realizing that America, gold is green, South Africa, Cape Town, all these places are Eretz, Anyi, these are the lands of my affliction. We are separated from our home, from our base, from our heart, from Eretz Israel. This is such an important message. The Jews are incredibly resilient people, and what happens? We're so resilient that wherever we are around the world, plop us down in the early 1900s in America, and a generation later on the top, and that's how it's been throughout history. Whether it's in America, or England, or Germany, wherever it is, that we just go ahead, we're resilient, we succeed. But it's very nice for Jews to be successful financially and make it and make nice shuls and yeshivas, but they cannot forget no matter how much success there is in, in these countries, it's Eretz Anyi. This is the land of my affliction. America. Yes, America. And I have a curse at all going up in America. To the rights that we've had over there, the Jews, to grow and develop financially, spiritually. I have a tremendous curse at all appreciation. But it's Eretz Anyi. It's the land of my affliction. Why? Because we're severed from Hashem's land. Hashem's land in Eretz Israel. And that's something that everyone agrees from the summer of Yitzhak Cook. This is Hashem's land. The state of Israel is where you have the Machloket. But not Eretz Yisrael. So your Jew is not home. He's in Eretz on ye. He's in the land of affliction. Yosef saw that clearly and he was in the top, top, top rung of society. His kids felt that message, Ephraim of Nasha. This is where we bless our children for all generations. And may all the Jews in exile, may all the Jews in exile, may they be blessed, and they should go all physically and spiritually for everyone. But let them always realize, it. you should always realize, it's Eretz Anyi. I am succeeding physically and spiritually to a degree in the land of my affliction. Yet Hashem, with that attitude, then hopefully with the proper attitude, the next step will be to come to Eretz HaChayim, to the land of the living, the land of Hashem, while one is still alive, of course. Shalom.